In case you've missed the opportunities of the popular play-to-earn games like Axie Infinity, then Pirates of Ireland can be right for you, a blockchain-based mobile game that lets players explore different islands and collect treasure while battling against pirates. It's definitely worth checking out if you're a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan like me. We're gonna dive deep into the core meaning of it, its exceptional features, and how you can play this game to get some cool rewards. Let's get started. Pirates of Ireland is a play-to-earn 3D video game that was built by the Polish company Anfata Games. The game is created by mimicking the scenarios from different settings of the place such as underwater, interface, jungle, sunset, beach, or even ruby sea. The in-game assets of Pirates of Ireland are lands, ships, and NFT character pirates. If you've ever experienced a game with poor graphics, then don't come with that expectation in Pirates of Ireland. The developers of this game have worked creatively and come up with high-quality 3D graphics which can even be suited for meditation. Ireland is built to present the pirate metaverse with a combination of video game and blockchain technology. The game was designed to deliver adventure and action through the blending of both NFT and 3D high-quality graphics. Imagine the features of the game that are built with the virtual attributes of pirates. Enjoying the video? Smash that subscribe button down below and become a crypto veteran. Now, let's briefly see how to play this game. Before anything, note that in the Ireland game, pirates are the main characters. There is a collection of 10,000 pirates in the game, dubbed Genesis Men Pirates, with 300 different personalities, and 5,000 Genesis Women Pirates are generated as it may produce young pirates that may vary from the owner. Furthermore, for you to be a veteran in this game, it is good to grasp the definitions of key elements, such as pirate ranking, visual traits, and wealth traits. In a nutshell, the pirate ranking means the ranking that is based on weight traits. Visual traits mean traits that do not have an effect on the game but will create a more realistic vibe for the players. And about the wealth trait, it implies traits that have the ability to generate a ROM token. ROM token is the native token of the Pirates Island platform, we'll talk about it later in this video. But there are also functional traits, well these are traits that have effects on the game which may affect the player's performance during gameplay. There are daily missions with a prize that consists of random rewards. These rewards are identified as common, uncommon, rare and legendary. Is gaming to earn an income cool for you? If so, be sure to check out our favorite crypto gaming ecosystem using the link in the description. Now, to earn the in-game treasures, you must be ready to fish, plant and hang skeletons on a tree. Also, you can show your creativity by arranging your stuff on your private island and creating buildings. The private islands exist in various sizes, each with its own set of prices and the number of structures that may be built on the island. All play-to-earn games have their own token for in-game activities like trading, swapping, minting NFTs, rewarding players and others. So the Pirates of Ireland has its governance token, ROM. This token is utilized in different settings of the game, such as the reproduction of young pirates, minting NFT items, crafting and production and renting of pirates, long sea voyages, renting of parcels and owning of resources for the engaging of the pirates in the economical side of the island. Also, the game has a native currency dubbed ARRC, which is used for transactions in the resource trade and it can also be used for buying portions and power-ups. This project is a metaverse project, which means everything in the game is virtually real. Look, in this game of pirates, players in their private islands can economize the usage of their resources and ROM token, which must be kept on their dwelling sites. Notably, the slots of the island itself are available in different sizes, also you can enjoy cruising your ships between islands. Generally, the gameplay of Ireland is in development and is in the second quarter of 2022. More levels are to be added to to it, making it more challenging and fun. Now, do you think that Pirates of Ireland is going to outperform in the gaming industry? Drop your comments in the comment section below. Curious for learning more about the earning potential with Revamon? Click on the tab and we'll see you inside the metaverse.